To our other top story here this afternoon, a woman who was once one of the most powerful advocates for public education here in Chicago has died after a long battle with brain cancer. WGN's Sean Lewis is here now with more on how people are remembering Karen Lewis. Yeah, one thing we can all agree on is that Karen Lewis taught us a lot. She taught us about how leading with passion and getting our way, even with the most notorious political operators in Chicago, can pay off. I want to thank everyone who made this a reality. Hers became a household name, revered by some, reviled by others. Karen was, was a champion. None of us um, can do what Karen did. Today, those who knew Karen Lewis best recall a well-liked high school science teacher who ran and won the right to lead the Chicago Teachers Union in 2010. She had the courage to call out what were really dominant narratives about um, unions just being there to uh, protect bad teachers. We have TA. We Bold have and brash, she went up against first Mayor Daley's education plan, then famously with newly elected Mayor Rahm Emanuel in the contentious contract battle. And as she uh, talked to the mayor and tried to advocate, and she said, teachers are not babysitters, he uttered those famous words, you know, um, F you Lewis. That was a middle finger to 30,000 teachers in the, in the city of Chicago. It's a liar. <laughs> and a bully. The only way to beat a bully is to stand up to a bully. Her name and political clout so recognized that hers was a leading name to run against Emmanuel in his 2015 re-election bid. You know, sometimes they would go at it and they didn't always see eye to eye, uh, but he certainly respected her and appreciated the legacy that she has now left to the city of Chicago. Even today, the former mayor called Lewis a tough and tireless champion for public education. While we often found ourselves on different sides of the debate, he said, I grew to have enormous respect for Karen. Karen could go toe to toe with the best of them. But even before her campaign could begin for mayor, she withdrew, citing her health. Just weeks later, in October 2014, we learned of her brain cancer diagnosis. And it was a devastating blow, uh, not to just to the campaign, but really to her because she was at the height of her power and uh, it just began a new chapter for her. Lewis stepped away from the day-to-day -day operations of the union to focus on her health, but she still had enormous influence in the union. Bonjour. She sure did help us find our voice and, and unite us and, and show us that, that we have power. She gave so much of herself to the movement that it helped teachers believe that. And, it, and, and once we believe that too, then I think the rest is history. And today, Congressman Chewy Garcia is remembering Lewis as a friend and mentor, saying in part this, in 2015, she encouraged me to run for mayor of Chicago when her own bid was cut short by medical complications. I am humbled she supported me. I will forever be grateful for the opportunity to work with her and witness her passion for justice. Of course, many more tributes to Karen Lewis. We'll have much more of them coming up new at 6 o'clock. Such a big impact. Okay, thank you, Sean. And Karen Lewis continued to